Okay. Were you hungry, Michelle? You know me? Of course. Rashad Hughes, 32 years old. Best friends with Officer John Mosley and godfather to his little brother, Corey Mosley. He used to play basketball overseas until that bad knee injury. Now you work at a construction site Monday through Friday, and in your spare time, you murder innocent teens. Sound about right? You must be a pig. You got the wrong person. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Now be smart and follow me to my car so I don't have to rush you in front of your home. I wouldn't want your daughter to see. Bitch, please, I told you you got the wrong person. Damn, die a fucker! Get on the floor and drop the weapon. Remove the firearm from your backside slowly and drop the weapon. Right. Get on the floor! My hands up! You move back, I ain't touching this shit. <laughs> what, you afraid I'm gonna blow your brains out while you reach for it? You damn right, no, you get down. Uh-huh. Lower <laughs> your fucking right arm. Lower your right arm! I am. Put it on your stomach. I'll drop the bag. This fucking bag. It's pretty heavy, Rashad. What are you down in here? I want my lawyer. <laughs> I bet you too. Now, what do we have here? Huh? Is this license in the state of New York? Judging from your rap shit, I highly fucking doubt it. Listen, could you just arrest me already to get the shit over with? I ain't saying shit. <laughs> sure you will. You people always do. Rashad, you're under arrest for the murder of Aaliyah Garrett and Ramel Bones Garrett. I ain't murdered nobody. Get the wrong person. <laughs> Tell that to the fucking judge. Get up. It's fucking... Get up. Just fucking walk. Walk. Hurry up and roll the damn dice, all right? Roll that seven, land on board, because I double dare you, yeah, you know? I, I keep talking all that shit. When I roll this five and land on park, you gonna be sick, uh. <laughs> Y'all better hope you don't land on red or green, you're going right to bankrupt city. Man. Oh, yo, let me get on to some of this. Hey, hold on, hold on, you know what you're doing, Corey? Yeah, man, man make his own decisions. Hey, look at me. Don't listen to Dallas. I told you about serpents getting in your ears. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's see what your little brother got to offer. It does. Yeah. Win Atlantic, Marvis Goddess, and Vanessa. <laughs> John, talk some sense to your little brother here. He must mix some lean with his tea. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, I got 2,500 sand. Mm. Mm. Sounds about 500 short. Yes. <laughs> Take it easy on the kid. Oh, he's sitting here with the grown ups. I'm gonna treat him like one, right? You know yeah. what? I'll spot you that 500 coin. Hey, bro. Can't keep bailing him out. He got a point there, John. Hey, both y'all. Shut the hell up, all right? Cause here you go, coin. It just does, they don't get a big brother like me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Matter of fact, that reminds me. What happened to that bully situation? Just some high school bullshit, ain't Nigga, it? Nigga, I'm talking to Corey. So what happened? You got into a fight during full period. Shit. You win? Hell yeah, I won. <laughs> I caught him in the locker room, I was being his ass. <laughs> And then his boys came in. Yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. You gave him a fair one, the boys roll up. All right. Yeah. You see, mm. that's that sucker shit right there. Mm -hmm. You see, if we was there, that shit went going down. <laughs> Gonna go to jail for beating up a 17 year old? Shit. Mm -hmm. Got you there, dummy. No, I don't. Your dad's with 17. Hey, look. Shit. All we could do is stand back and make sure his knuckle game is on point. Mm -hmm. I don't like to hear about you fighting in the first place, okay? But I'm glad you ain't back down. Well, it's not over. They said it's on site, they catch me running the style. Who said that? Bones. And the one you fought? Yeah. Chills is big brother. Don't you worry about that, all right? He just trying to save face after he got his ass kicked. That's it. Shit. Sure. Want that Cali? The hell's ass annoying me again. I gotta get out of here. Are you chill, Mercury? Danielle? Paying that child support? Yeah, I'm gonna help you out real quick, all right? Get some money, get you a new fit, because you know oh, what? That's funny. <laughs> that's real funny. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just take his part. Oh! Chill, bro. The bank old Adrian. Me too. The bank old. Give me that, man. What? Roll the dice, come on. So, 
Do you like the new shirt that Auntie Rocky got for you? Yeah. Now I just need a pair of matching Jordans. Uh, how many pair of Jordans do you need, Missy? You have like 12. I know, but then I can match the shirts you got. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind when I get my next check on Friday. So when is Bobby coming back from vacation? And how come I couldn't go with her? Um, I'll tell you all about it later on today when I pick you up from school. You know which train stop to get off at, right? Okay, and yeah, I do. But can I go over by Shannon's after school today? Uh, not today, Raven. Mm -hmm. well, not today. Okay. Get out of here, I wanna go to the bar, I'm always stuck in the house. You know we gotta make these moves. We always gotta make these moves. That's why we get this money. But I'm stressed. Drink your wine. <laughs> That's what I always do. <laughs> <laughs> so what y'all got planned for tonight? I don't know about Anita, but I gotta be Mario before I see Saul. Saul? Who's that? That's the connect. I thought you knew that. Girl, bye. You ain't about this life. What you, what you got that job at? Uh, what's it called with the blue shirts? Uh, Best Buy. <laughs> oh, girl. You don't need to be stressed with these city lights, okay? Hmm. Well, thanks for explaining my job at Best Buy. Y'all need a minute? Nah. Say what you gotta say. Just forget it, Anita. Pills, can you take me to work? You know, I gotta go pick up my check. I hope the bank doesn't bounce after I cash it. Sure. <laughs> She's such a smart ass. Y'all wildin'. Come on, Rocky. Hold on. Look, I'm not trying to argue with you, Anita. Me either. Can you watch Raven for me? There it is. I'm not even surprised anymore. Look. I can't keep taking off of work to watch her. What is so important that y'all got planned that you cannot watch your daughter? I can't talk to you about that. Of course you can't. But, how much are they paying you over there? It's not about the money. It's always about the money. Look, it's $250. I promise I'll be back when she has to go to school. All right? Two fifty. Two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> Shut up, Phil. <laughs> Told you it's always about the money. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Come on, Rocky. I got to make moves. <sighs> well, listen, I'll be back and we can head out, all right? All right. Be careful, Pills. You already know. All right. Now get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Over traffic. She's 45 minutes late. I'm waiting two more minutes and I'm out of here. Be patient. She's coming. Be patient? You gonna tell my lieutenant that when I'm late for my meeting this morning? Jesus Christ. Fucking relax. Raquel is on the way. You know the plan when she gets here, right? Yes, I know the plan. But she's got one more minute. Alright? Then I'm gone. I'm not doing this with you today. This is Anita's sister. Show some respect and sit your ass down. Sit down. Yes. Listen to me. I don't give a fuck about this new little title Chills gave me. Don't tell me to fucking sit down. Have some respect, know your fucking place, know your lane. Don't talk to me. Hey, I'm Manny. Hey, Rocky. 
about to take a swim. Yeah, all right. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to chill. You know the plan, right? Yeah, that's what I saw. This is the girl. She's shaking like a wet dog before we're even in the damn building. Her sister's over there dead. What, you want to go tell Chills that the little sister died too? That's it's not you your do? call, fish. She's not ready, Look. clearly. Look, Chills told me that the guy who killed Anita is in that building. And not for nothing, I can handle this on my own. Oh, I can handle this on my own. I ain't gonna do shit. Sound just like your sister. I'm out. Oh, she's out. Rocky. You know better than turn your back on me. Ooh. Okay. How may I help you, Manny? You can help me by not running in there without a plan, without a strap, without knowing what to do. Okay, so what's the plan? Because I'm not leaving until he's dead. What's the plan, Manny? Hi. So the third floor, six is posted up in the hallway. Hey, yo, look, I already know. Can I go? You know what? Fuck it. The girl said she's ready. She's ready. Let's go. I'm not gonna keep wasting my time, baby. Get the fuck off of me. I don't know you. And I gotta make a phone call. Well, who your ass up? Cause you got me waiting out here all goddamn day. Go get my coat. Where the fuck did you find this guy? I don't know. You got me all these fucked Hey. I'm sorry about being late. I'm doing express train, so I'm going to look. And you couldn't call me? You were supposed to pick up the baby an hour ago. <laughs> No part of the train going local, did you not understand? Matter of fact, why are you in the home way alone? Where's the baby at? My father stopped by a few minutes ago and took him to my mom's. Hey, what was you gonna tell me, Diane? Hmm? You know. You know I took today off of work just to be with my daughter, Diane. Look. I'm gonna need you to lower your voice and watch your tone. We are not doing this in public. I'm gonna with you here, right? So don't call your fucking father right now. You don't tell him to bring my daughter back. Every time. Every fucking time I go over here, you don't gotta deal with some bullshit, right? Excuse me? Excuse me. You were the one who was late and weren't picking up your phone. How was I supposed to know that you were coming? And you know my dad is sick. Damn. I don't give a fuck about your dad being sick, all right? So listen to what I care about right now. I give a damn about seeing my daughter when I take a whole day out of work just to be with her. Damn! You do stupid shit like this, right? And you have the nerve to call me a deadbeat father? You know what? Why don't you tell everybody, huh? Tell everybody all the bullshit you put me through just to see my fucking child. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've literally had to beg you to see your daughter for two years! So no, you, you have to earn my trust to be around her. Because knowing you, you'll walk out of her life just like you do to everyone else.
back when she has to go to school. What is so important that y'all got planned that you cannot watch your daughter? So when is mommy coming back from vacation? You don't need to be stressed with these city lights, okay? What are you doing? You just gotta know my question, right? Like you always do. What are you doing? You visiting my cousin. You? Wait, let me guess. Um, what's her face? Mm. The bitch. Mm. Damn. What up? It's been two years, you know that, right? You're just gonna keep holding this over our head every time. Who's talking? And why Ronnie is lying in the pool of his own blood. And I'm sure you clipped that bad bitch upstairs too, right? Oh, you mean that over there? That is his little sister Sophia. I gotta talk to you about your mom. When is she coming back from vacation? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. All right, I appreciate you finally being honest with me. All right, I'm not mad about what you did because that's a clear life or death situation of self-defense, all right? 